Hello guys and uh, welcome back to some more uh, to, to another one of my Fallout 4 mod spotlight videos great weather by the way in the game <laughs> this time we're going to be taking a look at the Sterling SMG which is uh, right here of course made by Mr. Lame Gaming or MR Lame Gaming if that is what you want to say or if that is actually how you say it uh, and of course uh, I'm using a munitions patch for the actual mod so it uses 9 millimeter ammo otherwise we use in a, a vanilla weapon type of ammo just just so you guys are aware that's why i have nine millimeter on it um in any case it, it's the only thing i changed on it um this adds the sterling smt which you might have seen in the fallout tv show uh which means it is indeed a law friendly gun and uh yeah that's kind of interesting that uh, they they kind of made a new gun law friendly by introducing it in the in a, the fallout tv show and let's test out the gun and see how it is. Okay, it controls pretty well. Oh, look at that sweet reload animation, though. Pretty nice. I like it. Now, because I've limited ammo and I don't know how to spawn in 9mm ammo, that is all we're going to see for now. But it feels pretty pretty solid. It feels like it's supposed to feel. Uh, like a Sten, uh, as an example. It kind of feels like that. In any case, uh, even though there's... Sp oh, look at that. It kind of becomes all closer now because of the rain. But anyway, it's a nice model. I like how it looks. And it actually looks like a uh, a trench weapon now. Like, it, it's in mud and stuff. That's kind of interesting. Anyway, let's take a look at all the receivers we have for it. Okay, so you can get... It's always automatic, it seems. The rapid receiver makes it very fast. Wow, okay. Uh, but you can make it up to t go up to 25 damage. By default, it's 16, which is a nice bump. Not incredibly big, but like a nice bump. Then you have this, which gives it a nice tactical barrel, of course. You're not really upgraded while we add it here. Recall compensating stock. That's also kind of nice. This is standard stock. This is the recall compensating. Actually, yeah, let's just go with that. Why not? You can give it a box magazine, which is kind of interesting. Very unique. And then, of course, for sight, you can give it... Wait, what, what, are, what is this? Reflex side cross. Okay, I'm kind of interested in that one. Uh, let's give it a reflex like cross, just because why not? And a muzzle, you can give it a compensator and a suppressor, which is a very unique looking suppressor, I'll say. And of course, pistol grip, you can change it, improves recoils, so you can change it to a tactical pistol grip, which is also unique. And the no legendary one is not part of the mod. Uh, so that is part of another mod I have. Very cool, I like the options, they are, there aren't a lot of them, but the, the ones you do have are substantial, which is how I like it. So this is how it looks like right now. Oh, it looks... This side reminds me a lot of Metro. Wow, it is very precise. It barely feels like it has any recall right now at all. Slower fire rate. Pretty cool looking though. Pretty nice. Sadly, I don't have any more ammo. So I can't exactly reload this, sadly. But, um... Yeah, very cool. I, I like the, the sight. Now let me remove it again. Because I, I like the re like the standard sights a bit more, personally. I do like the sight though. Don't get me wrong. But uh, if I use it, I would prefer to use it like this myself, you know? Just kind of aim it down like this, maybe? But yeah, I, I like it a lot. It's a very cool weapon. I think this is going to be a permanent state just because it is a different type of weapon and is very well made. Uh, now, the weapon itself will actually appear on people uh, or appear in the world at level 13. So with, as soon as you reach level 13, you're bound to... About, like, you, you, you're going to find it all over the place. Uh, probably in the level list I'm getting. I'm guessing, I mean. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's 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 law friendly too, so there's no reason not to have it. Besides maybe wanting to not have a space in loading order taken by this one, or taken by this one. Which is, I mean, understandable, but, again, I think it's good. I like it. It's a pretty good weapon. Uh, but that's also kind of old to it. Uh, very nicely made. I like it a lot. It's law friendly. Just a normal gun that you can add to the game that is vanilla friendly and everything. I always love the types of guns. Like, I don't, I don't like it when you add, like, an... A, I don't know what, what to call it. Like, a typical modern assault rifle in the game. Because it, it kind of doesn't fit the aesthetic of Fallout 4. It's very retro. And, and kind of 80s-esque. Or 60s-esque. So it's kind of weird when you see a, uh, a modern assault rifle. Like the M16 <laughs> in this game. Not that I don't like the M16. I also would love to add it to the game. Which I also will check out that mod later on. But still, it's, it's a cool mod. I like it. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this uh, thing. If you like the, if you, if you want to check out the mod, it is in the description down below. Just need to say that. Um, besides that, uh, yeah, um, 
hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did consider liking subscribing and sharing uh consider checking out my other videos of course and as always stay awesome <laughs>